In this video, I'm going to share with you one of my capacity planning templates that will help you identify the capacity that you need based on your target utilization rate, number of steps or locations, and some other variables. If you are interested to know more about this template, just stick around and watch until the very end of this video. For several years, I've been using discrete event simulation software to work on some capacity planning projects. This is a really powerful tool as you can replicate an entire system no matter how simple or complicated it is and analyze it to identify utilization rate, waiting time, overall processing time, and much more. I had this idea if it would be possible to replicate this, at least some of its functionalities in Excel. Before we proceed with the actual demonstration, allow me to give you some background on this template. There are three simple steps that you need to be aware of when running this simulation software. First, you need to gather assumptions that will be used as your input variables. Such information like volume, replication runs, target utilization rate, schedule, cutoff period, and steps or locations. Once you gather all of this data, you need to run the simulation and wait until it is finished. And lastly, the reports will be generated. There are a total of 66 reports available in this tool. To start off, let's enter our assumptions. Let's say our scenario is a call center and we want to know the number of calls and QA documentations that can be catered in a shift. We will be entering an assumption of 500 calls. We'll run the simulation once. Then targeting 90% utilization rate. Let's say the shift schedules from 7 to 3 p.m. We can also assign cut-off period here. Let's say we are going to set around 2.45 or 15 minutes before end of the shift. As per the steps, we will add two locations here. Let's call our first step as calls, then number of locations or call center agents, which is 10. Then let's assume that for a single call, processing time would be around 2 to 5 minutes. We will also add turnaround time here from 30 seconds or 0 0.5 minutes to maximum turnaround time of 1.5 minutes. For our second step, we will add QA who will provide some documentations of the calls. Let's say we have five resources for this team. Then processing time would be around one to five minutes. While turnaround time would be the same as our calls. As you can see on this side, we have some calculations that will be used in our overall processing time. Now, let's run our model and see what we can get. On this status bar, we can see the number of calls being processed and its replications. Let's wait until it is finished. Now, let's check our data. 
This is the data that has been generated during the simulation run. As you can see, that processing time here is within the timings specified in our input. Same goes with our turnaround time, which, if you remember, we have set it to 0.5 to 1.5 minutes. Here in F column, this is the total time spent by this call entity. And in G column, we have set this as cumulative processing time, which later on we can use to calculate the maximum utilization. On our first report, we can see the comparison of the projected and processed volume, which is equal. This means that all of our calls are processed by both entity calls and QA, no unprocessed call, and no need for additional capacity. The second report entails as the total number of processing times and turnaround time. The total number of time consumed in this process is around 4,000, with around 70, 70 plus percent as considered to be valid processing time. The third report has its breakdown of the processing time by locations. This will split the process time that we have discussed earlier, which is around 3,000 minutes. If you run the model with more than one replication, then you will be able to see it from here. Our fourth report will be the utilization rate of each step or location. Now, let's move to our next report. Here, we can check the available capacity that we have to target and for full utilization. As you may remember, we have set the target to 90% utilization rate. For this process, so for calls alone, we still have more than 50% availability, while QA has around more than 30% availability. And finally, our last report will check the total timings by entity by replication. We can also see the minimum processing time that a single transaction has been processed in both calls and QA, as well as median, average, and maximum value. If you want to get a copy of this template, visit us on our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash Hope you like it guys. Enjoy and keep safe everyone.